Two, one, two. Let's see. I wish I could have gone with Ryan on that cool retreat. Jen has plastic boobs. I have hemorrhoids. What's up? Wild Strawberry Garage. Working on Sluggy, 1969 C3 Road Racing Corvette. I'm gonna make a mnemonic device out of that. Anyway, it's time I'm building the roll cage. I made a little strapparatus to uh, hold this thing in there. This is kind of the trickiest one to fit, so I'm really taking my time with it. And uh, I've spent most of the day just trying to get this thing fit where I want it. Um, so I got this whole thing, one, two, three, four straps to kind of hold this thing where I want it to, and then uh, I'll start tacking it. Uh, and then I'm gonna leave it tacked while I build the rest of the cage kind of centered around this rear hoop, so. Uh, yeah, a little bit more fussing and then uh, maybe I'll tack it. I am happy with that. I don't want to say I'm surprised, but I'm pleased. Um, I got the one in that I think is going to be the toughest, uh, and the one that's going to kind of center the rest of the cage. And that's that big hoop in the back. Uh, I'll show you here in a second, but I got it tacked in there nice. Um, it is dead nuts. I measured it about 18 different ways, and it is spot on. Let's see. Yep, I got clearance all the way across. All right, just right down on the pad there. Cut nice and flush, so it's making good, good contact with the pad. And uh, yeah, man, that's a great start. Great start. So, next one I'm working on, I already have it kind of strapped up here, my extra helper my helper hands and so i'm just gonna be uh taking some time to measure and cut and you know just pair it back real slow and that's all i can do really really want to take my time on this and uh just step right measure everything a lot of times and um keep moving here so all right i'm gonna set you up i'm gonna get to work on this uh this bar and then then it'll be A-pillars, and then uh, I'll be about as far as I can go today. Once I get the A-pillars, I can also do the rear supports, but I want to get, I have a, someone coming over tomorrow with a mandrel bender, so I can uh, do some custom bending on the door bars and uh, the ones that come out through the firewall, because I want those bent a little differently than I have them. They're all straight, and I want to put some bends in them. So, anyhow... We'll get to going here. I'll go as far as I can today. Hopefully I'll get it all ready to go for tomorrow. Who needs a notcher? It would be better if I had a pipe notcher, but um, you know what? Let's judge the final product. You tell me if you think you can tell I didn't have one, you know, if you didn't see the video. But anyway, 
All right, new day. Yeah, it's friggin' cold in here. So, I got the wood stove going. Yeah, she's heating up. So, I'm back on sluggy. And where I left it last night, I got tired and I didn't end up tacking this because I wanted to get these A-pillar ones roughed in as well at the same time. And the more I'm looking at it, um, I think this thing needs to come back. I need to cut another couple inches off because I want this, the front of this bar to be back here a little bit more. So it'd be easy to tack this thing in because it's fitting nice right now, but I'm going to do it right. I'm going to cut my two inches and uh, keep on moving like this. Bingo! She's fitting, baby! Well, when I push it in, it fits. I don't see that. Let's tack it. Okay, I got the hardest two bars, the hardest two parts in here. Um, and now I'm gonna start going on the A pillars. And this is all the stuff I can do right now without a bender. Uh, hopefully I have someone coming today with a bender, but so I'm gonna to get to work on these A-pillars and what I need to do is make pedestals. Um, these were the ones that were on before. They're kind of crusty and not great. So I'm just gonna make new ones. Uh, and I have this big piece of quarter plate and I'm gonna make it out of this. So let's do it. It came out nice um, at welders, great. Once it preheated, you know, once I got one side done, the whole piece of metal was preheated and it was biting so hard, uh, I was just about burning through that quarter plate. So um, I think that welder's got plenty of juice. It's got enough juice to do this cage, no problem. So let that cool off and then uh, we'll put these pedestals in, start going after those A pillars.
another one on there perfect Lost you. Ah! Oh, it's treacherous. Ooh, new day. I just spent probably an hour fine tuning this one bar, uh, but I got it now, so it's fitting very nice and flush. I just got to knock the burrs off. Right there. So what I'm going for here is to continue the line from this hoop and well that starts at the A pillar, right? It draws a line like this. I'm going to continue that line straight to the back here. Um, and as you can see, I, I want to go back kind of as far as I can. I'm going back close to where the rear body mounts were, where they used to be. I got plate, got plates made up. So that's going to go here. And then I'm going to make support bars, smaller diameter ones, that are going to triangulate the shocks. Because when you can get your roll cage tied into your suspension, um, even if it's secondary, that helps a lot for stiffness and, and keeping the balance of the car all, all nice. So, yeah, I'm going to attack this one. Then i got to focus on that one. Probably take me a while to, to really fit that one nice. These are important bars. Uh, it's all the rear support. So... And plus, what I want to end up doing here at some point is putting a big axe in the back once I get some more straight stock. So I want these to fit really nice and uh, be even side to side. So yeah, just tack this baby in there. On to the next. This side needs to come up a little bit. Just the hair. Oh yeah, dead nuts. That was the side I just notched with the grinder. Good contact. All the way around. And then this was the one this side was pre-notched by Auto Weld. I'd say they look pretty much the same. I don't know. Boy might be pretty good with that grinder. Let's tack it. Boy, turned into a beautiful day out here. Wild Strawberry Garage. Uh, moved the car outside, so a little change of scenery. I've been getting to work out there. Um, I'll show you here in a second. I'm about as far as I can go right now without uh, this pipe bender. I still haven't gotten someone here to, uh, to help me out with that. It's the last thing I need really for this cage. I still gotta get, I gotta get probably another five or six feet of straight stock to bend up uh, and make second door bars because this pre-bent cage only came with one door bar for each side and I need two. So, you know, let me show you. 
So this is where I am at. The back is looking good. I want to do an X back here when I get some, some time and some more pipe. Uh, this whole rear hoop, I got those supports in. That's all looking good. I got my dash bar. I got my harness bar. A pillars are in. Top hoop is in. So there's going to be door bars here. And I want them to come out like this to give me more room in the cockpit. So I got to do that with the door on. Then up here, obviously, I need two coming through the firewall. Um, but those, the ones I have, they're straight and I need them bent. So the ones I have, they want to go something like, like this. And I need them to go more like this. So yeah, just a little bit of bending. If I can get someone over here, for Christ's sake. So yeah, keep going to uh, get these, get at least the, I can do the passenger side door bars because that doesn't really matter to me. I, I can I can just make them straight. That won't bother anything. I just want the room on the, on the driver's side for where I'm sitting. So I'm gonna get after this one, at least put one in, that's what I got, and then uh, move it right along. Going good. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, I have one long door bar for this passenger side. And it's really long. And I think if I'm really good with my cut, I can make an X. So I'll have the one long pipe, right? One long continuous pipe. And then it'll be a half of one and then a half of one on the other side, kind of like this X back here. Um, and I think I'll have enough stock here to do that because, you know, I can break that up. I can use the tails from the other stuff and hopefully have one that's long enough to, uh, make that X work. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for. Cutting this one, I got about 85% of this cage tacked in. Uh, I'm still hunting around to find someone with a pipe bender. I'm probably just going to end up buying one so I don't have to work on anyone else's schedule. But uh, yeah, I just got to get those front forks and the, the driver's side door bars bent up. And this was a pretty cool experience, man. Um, it's my first time building one of these all on my own. And uh, I took my time with it. There was about Oh man, so well, three days worth of grinding and fitting for, for what I got sitting behind me here. Um, it was a ton of work. It was a ton of work, but it was rewarding and um, I'm really happy with the way that it's coming out. So yeah, tune in next time, like, comment, subscribe. Um, oh, one other thing, I just wanna mention quickly, I set up a paypal.me if you feel compelled to contribute to the build. It is paypal.me backslash wild strawberry garage. Um, I'd be super grateful for anyone who has a couple extra bucks they can, they can spare and, and uh, help this project along. So I got a lot of expenses coming up. So once again, thank you for watching. Thanks to all the new people. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.